All right, so I just deleted all my characters. I'm gonna make a new one. It's gonna be a gnome. So we can see what animations are missing and stuff on them. It's gonna be a gnome inquisitor. All right, create character. There he is. Let's enter the world with him. What's up, Zukin? Let's go full screen. All right, so I'm in here on a gnome. All right, so let me go ahead and get set up while I'm in here. Um, bu bu bu. oh, I need to, I want to modify our sit animations. We should, um, we should have a sit animation that is, uh, holding the spell book. And when we have books, then that would be nice. Where, where will the weapons go? Zukin says, um, I think they just disappear. I think we need to have certain animations where through the power of magic, you sit down and open your book and your things in your hands disappear. That way we're not overcomplicating it. Cause if you're, if we put in like the ability to hold a torch or a lantern or other light source, does that go away? And in that case, does it get dark? Torch goes on the ground, picks it back up when book is put away, meeting over. Oh, I see Nick. Oh man, he just buffed me. It looks amazing. You hear, you hear me scribing that stuff in? That's pretty dope. Light sources that aren't held are an upgrade. Yes, yes, absolutely, Bunny. Light sources that are brighter, more interesting looking, don't have to be held, last longer. So, all of that stuff. Um, load that there. Oh, let me accept that invitation from Nick. Also, I need to see if Nick wants to be on voice. It could be, it could also be that when you open your book, is this scribing or not? Oh, I've already memorized it. Okay. Oops. Well, that's a weird thing to have happen. The idea of putting the torch down, because when you said put it down, I picture lay it down, but I could see a sticking into the ground next to you. Um, and then if you're holding a lantern or something, it just sits on the ground next to you. I could see that. We should make that happen. What are my stats right now? Uh, I've got 20 strength, 20 stamina, 16 agility, 14 dexterity, 18 intelligence, 14 wisdom, and 18 charisma. I've got really good stats. What is my weapon? Uh, trainee's sword. Oh, Zukin's here. Four damage, 28 delay, skill slashing, weight, seven units. I need to, I need to get with Ali and mention that I really, I do... I, I really think it'd be fun to have everything weigh in coins. So if it's like seven units here, I'm assuming, well, the seven pound sword would be a beast. So I don't think that's accurate, but it'd probably be more like 70 coins. So here's Nick. Nick is a cleric. He's level one. The seven pound sword is like seven swords. Ah, I think it, how much do you think a sword usually weighs? Like depends on the sword, right? Like a, like a standard, a standard short sword. Pound and a half, two pounds. Well, shit, those things are dying fast. Did you just two shot these? All right, things are dying too fast. Ooh, I can buff myself, I think. Let me target myself, cast strength. Oh, crap. Uh, let me expand chat a bit so I can, uh, well then he died. Damn. I just, <laughs> I just one shot at him almost. I, I, I think really that's, you know, that's been our goal for quite a while is to try to get to a point where we can have people in and start to treat it as kind of a live product, early access style, instead of like just. I don't know, like extended alphas and all that other stuff. Just get people in and playing. But uh, we do have to be careful about how we do it. We want it to be a decent enough experience that we can take your money. Um, but, you know, it'll be one of... Damn, this guy's actually putting a little bit of whooping on me. Which is nice. I like that feeling. I like to be whooped. That'll be a clip. Yeah, we just, you know, we've got... We definitely got a lot more work to do to get to that, that point, but... Testing out a fishing game would be fun, but actually diving into play, I want to wait until I have a game you think is ready, even if more of the game is being worked on. All right. We got some level twos here now. I'm going to, I'm going to sit under the glow of this beetle's butt. Just don't do the current fad, enter early access, charge full price for the game, then never complete it. Well, is an MMO ever 
ever really completed. But you, I know what you mean. Did Nick say he was running by spells or something? I got the feeling he did. I haven't looted a single thing, so I actually don't have money for spells. Guess I should loot some shit. We got a lot of corpses over here. I could have been looted. I think uh, rather than than pull that kind of move, we'd be better off just deleting the git, the the repository. <laughs> Oh, gloves. Look at me. Wish it was just one glove. We need the ability to just equip one glove. Just one cloth glove. Are you going to have a crack staff type item? Something newbies really enjoy getting? Uh, I'm, I'm sure we will. Um, if we don't already have a crack staff in here, I wouldn't be shocked if we did. Sometimes we, we use some references to just kind of make sure that we've got those bases covered and then we can go back and make them a little bit more unique in ours later. What's the lore behind everyone being naked? Um, what would the lore be behind everybody having clothes? That's one of those ones that I'm always stuck on. I kind of like the idea, like, we actually, we start you out with more stuff currently than... Like I've been, I've been saying, you just start with nothing. You just start as a blank character, and then uh, whatever, whatever role play excuse you wanna, you wanna make up for being naked at the city gates, um, or maybe you start with rags. If we're gonna, if we're gonna let you be naked, we had, we had talked about like when you die, do you, is your, so we talked about is your base outfit like this, or is it sort of EQ style where it's uh. You know, you've, you've got painted on newbie clothes. Um, and then we talked about that a little bit. Ali mentioned that in Ultima Online, when you die, you get a shroud so that you're not naked. If we if we allow you to be kind of in your underoos, maybe we start you with some, some clothing. When you die, you always come back in a shroud. But um, you can take all that off, except city guards will get mad at you in most places if you're in your underwear, and they'll yell at you to put on clothes, and if you don't, then they'll attack and kill you. And then you'll have another shroud. I didn't read the description on this ability. I probably should have. Minor spell shield. A magical shield encircles you, increasing your hit point by 10, AC by 5, magic resistance by 5. Oh, shadow step. Okay. Nice. We should do some sort of effect that makes that uh, obvious at some point. We'll have to figure out how to make that like effect uh, so then we know what's going on. We just mentioned feeling like a millionaire the first time. He looted a crack staff and sold that bad boy. Slimes ate all the armor. Now we're getting back to why are we naked. Do, do, do. Rags and a blunt stick or sharp stick or something. I was just uh, figure your first your first mission will be to get a weapon. And maybe you start with some food and then drink, and that's about it. Um, everything, everything beyond that is a problem to be solved. DMay93 says, "What changes are you looking to make to the EQ formula for your unique spin on the genre? Or is the plan to make it as close to EQ as possible?" Um, so you can see that it's definitely got some inspiration there but we're pulling from we're pulling from a number of games right it's and just so i can spread the the potential lawsuits out um we'll mention multiple games and not just one um so ali pulls some inspiration uh from what he liked about ultima online uh we're heavily influenced by everquest um Naturally, we look at uh, some of the things that happened that were improvements or interesting sort of learnings from classic WoW. So all of that said, I think if you look at the systems that EQ had um, back in the day, there were some really good systems, some of which that didn't get used in the same way in future games, that if we were to go back and take those and go even deeper with them and... Uh, make them a little bit more meaningful. Things like faction, uh, taking a different approach that feels a bit more like faction with um, with regards to religion, um, and allowing that to be something that's uh, you know a bit more dynamic and serves as, like I said, like faction in a way that it allows you to progress, um, learn more about the world, have various unlocks, um, combats. 
there's there's something about that original formula that that feels nice in terms of pacing and tactical decision making and you know so lean into that so it's it's essentially like try to take the systems and um behaviors and gameplay that we that we've liked from that era and then go deep with them um make some tweaks here and there but honestly in in, in some areas really probably lean harder into some of the constraints some of the 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 challenge but we're looking to to build a base with uh what we know and like no, no there's no point in reinventing every wheel and then use uh a 20 30 percent sort of of the development to really push into some other things that are a bit more riskier a little bit more innovative uh, i wouldn't even say necessarily innovative um just maybe the fact that they're present in in this type of game makes it feel a little different um really less worried about innovation than we are execution um and so some of that will be incorporating mounts um, from the onset, and but having things like pack animals and um, a lot of inventory constraints and limitations and a lot of distance you'll see in our maps are pretty big. And so it, it makes having having something like a pack animal or a mount meaningful. But then also adding in the fact that your pack animal or mount can be killed and needs to be resurrected or it just lays there and you've got to do a corpse recovery. Shit like that. So, so it's a lot of just playing with existing concepts and and not trying to get too crazy papa gurker said i was robbed by gnomes that's your backstory for why you're naked i like the backstory this crocodile hatchling is fleeing like uh we're so we we were just looking last night at uh movement speed and i think we've got the updated player movement speeds but man the fleeing fleeing critters move so fast uh wow eminem will actually have spell descriptions in game yeah the the degree like i still i've I've got thoughts on like how much data is included in there, but I know it's going to be a topic that the will have mixed opinions on the on the team, um, and so that's one that we'll have to work through. Um, I I believe, and I'm just speaking for myself. I like the idea of there being information, but not necessarily like every single number, if that makes sense. Like a nice, clear sort of explanation of what it does, but not necessarily like reading a uh, wiki entry. And then the argument against that is, well, then people go to the wiki. I'm Every time that argument comes up, my response is great, great. And hopefully our wiki is is thorough and cool as the, the P99 wiki. I love that wiki. It's very helpful. How big would you like the world to be? Give me some names of worlds size-wise. I would like for the world to uh, to be big enough that you that you feel that it provides a wonderful world sense and it gives you a little bit of that old sense of wonder again. And we'll have to figure out exactly how big that is. Um, if you've watched the VODs or if you watch us long enough, you'll see sort of the, the environment's art style and things like that. Um, I'm hoping that it holds up the way that we're picturing. And I mean, even here... You know, you can see some stuff in the distance in both directions, pretty big. I feel like we're still moving pretty damn fast, but I thought that we had slowed it down last night. I don't know. Any thoughts on why MMOs treat things like fishing as a trade skill instead of a mini game? Basically, it's usually treated as a boring activity used for progression instead of trying to make a compelling, fun mini game that people would log in just to do because it's so fun. Um, I think one of the challenges with any mini game is after the hundredth time you've um, done it, is it still fun? And if if the team is capable of putting so much fun into a mini game, did they basically just make another game? So is it, is it, will that actually work as intended? I, I tend to be more of the, um, and I think different strokes for different folks, I tend to be more of the persuasion of, I like simple just sort of click things instead of like full on mini games. Um, for interactions that I have to do a lot. Is that, is it, is it Kalk and Bause? Is the, is the E at the end more German or is it just Kalk and Bause? Is it American? Sorry, I live in Germany and uh, I've learned to pay attention to those E's at the end of things. My wife always reminds me. Americanized? Kalk and Bause. All right. Oh, Kalk and Bause. I see what you did there. That's wonderful. That's one of those ones where usually, usually I spot it like right away and then still play into it. In this case, you definitely got me. I'm blushing a little bit. 
I did not see the cock and balls. What are you guys doing? Are you guys you guys having a conference here? What are you guys talking about? Oh, just fire beetle stuff. Uh oh, what are these guys doing? They look like trouble. Let me con them. They're indifferent. That's good. Oh, they're bums. Oh, we got a stumbling zombie on you. Oh, on me. Ow. What's he con? Ah, oh, he's red. Let's run. Why did he stop? Did he get rooted? Is he just... He's just stopping? Oh, sorry, Nick. I missed the, uh... He's just chilling back there. 